If you say combine the server side with the front end of the web page, that's probably a bad structure. However, it is such a poor structure that has a place in today's desktop development. It's their Chrome JS. For example, the powerful code editor VS Code, live broadcast software Twitch, work group chat software Slack, Facebook's chat application Messenger, and other clients all use this framework. Electron was first developed by engineers at GitHub in 2013. The idea was to make Adam a cross-platform code editor and allow programmers to easily improve it with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, adding plugins and extensions. So it was called Adam Share back then. The Electron framework was then open sourced in 2014 and renamed Electron in 2015. In 2016, the first official version 1.0 of the API was released. Put it simply, Electron JS integrates Node.js on the back end and Google Chrome on the front end, and more precisely, it's called Chromium. All screen rendering and user interactions are handled by Chromium, which is almost a browser. However, the web page code in the browser reading and writing local files is very limited. Therefore, the FS file interface of Node.js is responsible. Speaking of its shortcomings, it is very obvious. Neither Node.js nor Chromium are designed for client-side software. As a result, the software installation package starts at almost 80 megabytes. Not very friendly to small software. In addition, when the Chromium Google Chrome kernel is running, it occupies a very high CPU and occupies a considerable amount of memory, often several hundred megabytes in size. However, all of this should still be affordable for today's computer performance and configurations. The rest is almost all its unparalleled advantages. First of all, cross-platform. Windows, Mac OS, and Linux supports JavaScript, the most popular language in the world. The development cost is relatively low, and you can enjoy the Node.js ecosystem and front-end open source resources. For example, you can use third-party packages on the NPM line and put them in the node module folder, as long as it can accept a large disk usage. In terms of specific structure, Electron has a default main process, which is the main process of Node.js. Then it can create multiple child processes, render process for rendering. Each rendering sub-process is equivalent to a web page. Therefore, the main process is to play the role of the server, provide the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript code required by the web page to the render process. Each child process fetches and renders independently. In addition to this HTTP communication, for more efficient communication between processes, Electron.js provides inter-process communication, in short, IPC. Then the main process side is the IPC main interface, and the child process side is the IPC rendering interface. Both sides can communicate any serializable information. There is a more convenient way to add the node integration parameter setting in the creating of the render process. You can provide it with the Node.js environment. In this way, it is equivalent to breaking through the limitations of the browser. When writing front-end code, you can also use it directly, such as reading and writing local files and calling it from the command line. However, there is also a certain danger in doing so, because some of the front-end JS code is downloaded from the internet. If the code contains offensive parts and intentionally calls local files and system interfaces, 
there will be certain security risks. After all, the JS execution environment in the browser is in a very secure sandbox environment. If the performance of JavaScript is not enough, you can use the C++ add-ons provided by Node.js to meet the needs of high-performance computing in the form of plugins. Of course, you can also use WebAssembly, which is a web version of Assembly. Both Node.js and the Chromium platforms provide WebAssembly functionalities internally. We can mix programming. In addition, use third-party packaging tools such as Electron Builder, Direct Build Package Packaging. Packaged Electron can provide auto-update automatic upgrade function. That is to say, users only need to download and install it once and then release a new version every time it is released. User installed software is automatically updated. Also, the downloaded code is the changed part. This is convenient and necessary in the internet age. In fact, for users, they don't care what kind of technologies they use. What they want is a product or service that is faster, more stable, and more feature-rich at an affordable price. So whether it's ElectronJS or something else, it's okay. However, as a technology decision maker, it is necessary to understand how to find the optimal balance point to satisfy users among the development costs, development efficiency, and the quality of the developed product. Alright, that's it for this video.